I'm Katie, I work for Cambridgeshire Fire and Rescue Service in Fire Control and, and I'm the one that signed up for the marathon. <laughs> uh, I'm Alex, obviously Katie's husband, and I work for Lincolnshire Fire and Rescue, Hot Time Fire Fire, it's Bolden, and obviously here for support more than anything else. So I signed up three or four years ago, before Covid, to um, just to raise the money because I knew how good the charity was from Alex being on call before as well as at Spalding. Then Covid happened so I had to do the virtual marathon which was great but really hard with no support um, and then luckily enough I was able to do this year's marathon but in that time I actually got to use the charity for support. I suffered a miscarriage and they supported me with counselling actually to get me through it and help me mentally to be able to carry on working again. Oh, it was absolutely amazing and since then Alex has used it himself as well for other things and I've had a friend who I work with who's suffered as well and we've edged her towards the charity because I know the support they give is great so I know that they're always there for, for everyone really. Yeah, it was it was difficult but I mean, mine was for different reasons. I had, a, I had family issues and yeah, again, a bit of talking therapy helped and just allowed me to carry on and be normal again really. Yeah. Sort my anger out. <laughs> Improve things. Yeah, it did, yeah. If you think you need the help, um, get it, it's worth having. Nice oh. to talk to people who understand about the job, more than anything else, then understand what you're going through with the job um, and how it can affect, the mental health side of things can affect the job. Um, so it's, it's nice to have people understand your personal circumstances rather than just being someone at the end of the phone. If you really think you is. need it, you probably do, um, so it's worth doing. And if someone tells you you need it, you probably need it. Don't be afraid, because they're so great and they will listen and you get an initial assessment with the charity before anything else anyway and that initial assessment will help you realise actually how much you do need the support. Just talk, really. Mm. Talk to your colleagues, talk to your family, talk to the charity. It's the best thing you could do.